Hey, what's up guys? Jay Wink is here after uh, another couple long, couple long few days of me not being on YouTube. I'm um, sorry, it's just been really busy lately. I kind of had um, surgery on my toe, if you guys can see that there. So, yeah, it's been kind of an interesting couple week, well, busy week, so yeah. Sorry about not getting the videos up, and these videos have been really long and they've really been needing to get out into the public and so um yeah so i am going to be reviewing the new episode of agents of shield which is called lockup and it's episode five i believe yeah episode five so yes um lockup was a really um very interesting episode and it really does um in a way set up for next week's episode and so the plot so and i really did like that because it kind of there were some tint hid um tidbits of for what's going to happen next week and it was and i kind of was gathering that together i was like oh okay so if this thing happens here and all that is like oh maybe that's how it connects to next week's episode okay and that makes sense so pretty much the main plot of lockup is um the shield is now working with ghost rider and quake and they are trying to get the um secret book the devil book or the dark book i believe or something like that and they're trying to retrieve that and they're on the they're chasing this ghost that we that we saw in episode one that you know turned may bad so and they're after her and it's just this um cool chase and then we have to go to and then we get to the prison where we were when ghost rider went and talked to his uncle so yeah it's been an interesting episode because it was really cool to see how ghost rider and um quake are now having to work with shield and Daisy is not really willing to work with S.H.I.E.L.D. And I'm kind of glad that when I said, when I did my list of the things I wanted to see in Season 4, that this that she is not kind of joining S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, she's not coming back. She's just there because, you know, she they need her help. So, the, yeah. Sorry, guys. Dog wanted out. So, yeah. I think that's the kind of the big reason why. She's not there to, like, stay, but she's there to, like, help. And I think... Something really cataclysmic is going to happen, and that's going to make her want to stay. And that's and that's kind of how she'll be back into Shield. And but I don't know, I, she might not join. I'm, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see if she does kind of go along with the registration. But um, so besides that, we are also going through what Simmons had to deal with with last episode when she found out that um. There's there's a new thing called a life model decoy, and I completely forgot her name. I don't even remember. But yeah, and sh now she has to go to the director, and she has to take this lie detector test. And it's the same kind of test they did, did back in season one, which is a cool callback. I really did like seeing that. Um, and yeah, I thought it was very fun, And but then it kind of gets cut short, you know, because she's like, ooh, yeah, she's lying, you know. And they detect that, and then the director's like, okay, look, I'm gonna need your help. You know, there's this chick, and she's not really, um, for the Inhumans, and we need to, like, get, we, and this is a debate, so I'm gonna need you to bring out some good points. You have 15 hours, and, well, like, 15 minutes, like, huh? And so it's kind of, there's the, those little comedic moments in there. That's something that this new director has. He's got a lot of comedic moments, so that's kind of cool. Um... And it was also very cool to see him debate in this stuff, and then for him to come out at the end of the episode and it's like, yeah, I'm an inhuman. The shield is completely safe. We are, you know, te we are able to, you know, handle the threats of these inhumans, or, you know, kind of control and guide these inhuman things that are going on. And it was also cool to kind of hear during the interview, like, yeah, they know that the, that prison thing was happening. It's just like, ooh, shit, that might throw a little, that might throw a wrench in there. But it was only brought up the really the one time, and it's not really like what you know what's happened next. I hope in ne in next week's episode that um the director will talk to Coulson about this because that is a big deal. Because if the director does not talk to Coulson about you know, well, hey, this was not authorized. You can't do this. You know, such and such. You're working with a known murderer, serial killer. That's not good. And so that was... I hope that happens in next week's episode because that's got to be taken care of. Or else it's going to be like, oh, okay, then keep going at it. But, um, so yeah, and then when we finally get... So when we get to the prison, it was... Oh, and sorry, one more. I got a little... There was a little Easter egg. There was the Ghost Rider of the Johnny Blaze Easter egg. It was the carnival poster. When they first found the original book, when the, the, I believe it was in the past, that's when it was, I believe, if I'm thinking correctly. 
but it's in this like this kind of barn thing so and there was a poster with the carnival and supposedly there was another motorcycle and chain and a leather jacket i'm not sure if i saw that maybe it is there um and you know it'd be cool to see hey maybe there are other ghost riders out there you know and that'd be pretty cool you know we come in the season finale of season four and we see a fucking army of ghost riders sorry for my harsh language but that would never happen because budget you know that'd be bad for bud that would cost way too much but um so yeah i was um but yeah then when we get to the actual prison um we get to see um robbie reyes and Ter talking to this guy and he's like yeah you did this guy you did this hit for this guy um you know th these two kids blah 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 that yeah those two kids are me and my brother and it was cool to kind of hear about, like, yeah, that's just how Robbie's brother got paralyzed. And I kind of figured when he was asking him about it, like, when he started talking about it the second time, I was like, oh, maybe this is how he became the Ghost Rider. You know, and this is how he, you know, he got into that accident. They were hit and such and such. And obviously these two, they're, they're, they got hit. I think they were hit for a reason. So it's going to be a big deal to figure out for next week. And I'm really interested in seeing what they do for the devil. I want to see how they use Mephisto. Hopefully they can bring him into the MC, like the bigger MCU later on. But, um, so yeah. Uh, and then the awesome battle with Quake versus the Watchdog prisoners. That was pretty cool. There was a lot of cool fights, like with the Ghost, the Ghost Rider kind of burning the one guy. It was pretty insane. And it was cool to see, like, yeah, <clears throat> this Ghost Rider, he can kind of control when he lets it out sometimes. And, you know, he, it's his kind of free will. And that's kind of, I felt like the problem with... And the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider was, you know, he, he can only come out in the presence of evil, can't be in day, daylight, you know. And this one's just like, no, he can come out at daylight. You know, we haven't established those rules yet. And I feel like if we do establish them rules, it um negate, it really does hold back the Ghost Rider. Because if we don't, if he doesn't really have any rules or parameters, it really makes him a wild card. It really makes the Ghost Rider, like, it can come out at any time as long as he's got it in control. But I'd like to see what happens when he doesn't have it in control. Like, if he gets manipulated somehow and it just, like, poof, just fucking lights up. Sorry for the language again. But, yeah. Um, and the Quake and the Watchdog fight, I thought that was pretty intense. It was, it was really hard beat down on Daisy. And the new gauntlets, I think, the new design of her costume, there's not really, I don't, in my opinion, there's not really much of a difference, I guess. Her gauntlets are kind of new, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's, so that's about it. It was interesting to see, you know, how these characters, you know, how these, um, how May and Coulson are now, and, you know, Mac, they're all trying to get to work together, and Robbie and Daisy, how they're all trying to work together, and they can't really work together anymore, because Daisy, she doesn't want to be really a part of that family anymore, because she, she knows, yeah, I'm going to get you guys all killed, so I'm going to just step away, and it's kind of cool and interesting to see, like, that's a... It's really a huge kind of, it's kind of comes, goes back to her role in season one. She didn't want this, she did want a family then because she didn't have one. And now she has a family, but she's like really stepping away from it because she doesn't want them to get hurt. So it's kind of interesting to see kind of that, you know, kind of um, arc that she's had throughout the show. But yeah, um, so yeah, guys, I think that's about it for this episode. I'm probably going to give it a four or a probably 4.5 out of 5 winks definitely pretty good episode a lot of good um um really good episode i really did love the story and what they did with it and all that um and i'm really really looking forward to next week's episode because it's really i'm um, it's going to be kind of ghost rider centric and how he got his power so i'm really interested in that so yeah guys that's about it so yeah i'm jim waking up again i'll see you guys later